Alright, I am a bit late to this, considering that the trailer for Avatar The Last Airbender's Netflix's live-action adaption of the show dropped a while ago. I, I'm i still getting onto it, though. I just kind of forgot about it, and I didn't realize the trailer had dropped, but I'm here now, and I'm ready to talk about it. I did watch the original show a while back, and I, I just loved it. I, I just loved the original Avatar The Last Airbender. It was actually the show that really got me into anime, and I, some people don't really consider it an anime. And I guess, in a way, it's not, but it does have some anime elements to it. So yeah, Avatar The Last Airbender really got me into anime, and I like it a lot now. So the show really means a lot to me, and whenever the movie adaptation of it came out, uh, I think we can all agree that it was kind of a disappointment, and it wasn't that good. <laughs> it was it was not good at all. But with, the ne- with Netflix making a live adaptation of the show, I am cautiously excited. The trailer of it looked really good. There were some parts to it that looked a little off to me, but for the most part, I liked it. It looks it looks good, and I am cautiously excited and hopeful. In the trailer, it does feature what looks like the Fire Nation attacking the the airbenders, and we all know that like, you know, the Fire Nation basically commits genocide by killing off all the airbenders except for Aang because he ran away. And it looks like we're going to be seen uh, or shown some of that. And that's that's interesting because we didn't really get to see it in the show that much, really. We just, like, Aang talked about it. And I am excited to see it. And the, the bending, the bending does look very good. It looks a lot better than in the movie whenever it took, like, five guys to lift one rock. So at least the bending looks good. The background, the backgrounds look good. I think the casting is good, though. Whenever you see Katara and Aang and like their actors just together, sit they were like sitting together in a scene. And um, in the original show, I guess you could look past their romance because you know it. It's not. It's not really like weird in the show. I guess. I mean, I not really into the whole Katang thing. If anything, I'm more of a Zutara shipper, but that's another topic for another day. Anyway, I don't know how it's gonna work out in the live action show, and maybe we can just not have it, because seeing those two together and their age difference is kind of weird. So I don't know if the whole Katang thing will work out for this adaptation of it. And speaking of the characters, uh, Zuko, they, they, he looks alright, like, in the movie, he didn't really look like Zuko, and I must say that in this trailer, he does look more like Zuko, but the thing is, his scar, it kind of looks more like face paint or makeup to me, and I know it is makeup, but, like, it just doesn't look right, and with, like, the show, it it does look kind of strange, though, because, like, you know, his face was burned, and it kind of looks melted and clumpy and kind of gross, and half of his eye is closed. But with this new adaptation of it, it does just kind of look a little funny to me. But I don't know, that could just be me. I, I don't know. Other than that, I think that um, all the characters do look good. And Katara has her hair loopies! She has them! So that's great! That is awesome! I can't remember her having hair, her hair loopies in the, uh, the last live-action one that they did. I, I don't think that she did. So at least they got the hair loopies. And in the last movie adaptation as well, it was a lot more serious. So maybe this one could be less serious like the show was. I mean, there were its serious moments, don't get me wrong. But there was still a lot of humor in it. And with the movie, there just wasn't that much humor in it. So I hope that there can still be some in the show and it doesn't have to be so serious. 
But yeah, those are just my thoughts. Are you guys excited for it? Or cautious about how it's going to go? I'd like to hear what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe.